Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to process a color negative with Photoshop. Uh, I've taken a look on YouTube and I've never really seen any good examples of how people do this. Uh, some people use plugins like Color Perfect. Uh, some people just fiddle around with the uh, curves a little bit, but I have a quick and easy way to actually do this with levels that um, works almost perfectly every time for me. So we'll get into it. Uh, so what I have here is I have a scanned in uh, color negative. Uh, it's just a, uh, a raw TIFF file, uh, nothing particularly special here. I took picked this image just because there's a lot of greens and blues and, and some neutral colors in here too, so it'll make for a, a good example. So uh, basically the first thing I would do uh, with, with a color negative is I will invert it. So obviously now we're taking it from a color negative and turning it into a positive. So I do this by going to image adjustments invert. You can also do this in a new layer, but uh, for the sake of this, I will just do this in the current layer. So you see it comes up, uh, you know, the, the colors come off very blue. Uh, that's just the way that the, the film is. Every, every type of film has its own color characteristics. Uh, this is uh, Portra 400, and generally when you invert uh, Portra 400, it kind of has this, uh, th these color characteristics off the bat. So after you've done the uh, invert, uh, first thing I'm going to do is create a, an adjustment layer with levels. So if you're not familiar with levels, it basically um, it's basically shows you the RGB channel, which is red, green, blue. Um, we're not actually going to make the adjustments on the RGB channel because you're going to be just globally making changes to the RBG channel. And you can see that the results really aren't that great. So we're going to make adjustments to each individual channel. And so basically what we're doing here is we're compressing uh, the histogram. So we're making sure that we bring the blacks to the black point and we're moving the whites to the white point. Uh, and the best trick with this, uh, with the Mac, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is on the PC, but on the Mac, if you hold down the Alt key, and you drag uh, this left triangle here, it'll turn uh, red, and I think they, they call that a clipping mask. So you'll see I move it, and you'll start to see clipping. So that means that anything on this side, if it's black in, in that red, that means you are clipping and you've lost all details. So generally what I do is in the red is I try to have as less clipping as possible. So I try to find a spot where, you know, there's maybe just a little bit of clipping and I expect black to be there. So if you look there, I'll let it go. You know, that's pretty black. So I would expect that to, to be black there. You're going to do the same thing on the right hand side, but now what you're doing is you're adjusting the whites. And so you're going to do the same thing, hold down the alt key and move it over until you know you start seeing some clipping. Don't worry about, you don't have to be super precise here. So you'll see there, photo looks pretty awful and very red, um, which makes sense because we've compressed the red channel so that there is actually more red in the photo now. So now we'll go down to the green channel. We'll do the same thing. You'll notice, you know, every time you do this, you'll end up kind of with the same patterns. You know, th this first on, you know, on the black side of the, the green channel and all the other uh, channels, you'll see that there's always a hump there. If you haven't cropped, you know, you'll end up with the edge of the, the frame right there, which is always just going to be black. So that's your black point. So when you actually make this adjustment and you move it, you'll see that there's clipping there. Well, you don't care about that clipping. You actually want that to be black. So you're just going to wait until you see something in the scene there, which starts to look like it's clipping in the scene. And I try to keep it fairly similar to what it was before. You can see that the pattern there is similar. So I'll do the same with the whites. Bring it in. You'll see it's you know clipping in similar places. Starting to look a little bit better now. Now it's got a little bit more of a green cast to it. So now we'll actually move to the blue channel. Same thing. You'll see the hump there is 
this piece here so you know you know you'll at least have to go past that so I usually just zip by it we're in the same piece start see it starts to look better we'll actually do this on the white point as well perfect there we go that looks like a the photo that I actually took now from here you can make adjustments to uh, to things like contrast and, and do any sharpening that you want to do but this is a quick and easy way to actually process color negatives without having to buy a plug-in and quite frankly I think this is quicker and easier than using some of those plugins that exist so if you have any questions feel free to uh, make a comment in the comment section and hit subscribe I'm planning on doing some more tutorial videos like this all right thanks for listening